What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another Transformers review, and this is on Transformers Movie The Best MB19 Hound. Taking a quick look at the packaging. Here's the front of the packaging. You see the MB19 down there. You got the hound in Japanese. Hound, you got the Autobot symbol. Shows a little picture of Dark of the Moon over there. It's Age of Extinction. You can see the Last Night Hound right there. Looking very cool. And then as well as on the top. So, very nice. Takara Tommy, Transformers movie the best. This side has the 2007 Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, and The Last Night. Other side, Thrones Fallen's. And the back has product images. Shows how it changes. You got some Japanese writing over there, as well as some Japanese bio, I believe, or I assume. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. Alright, so checking a look at him out of the packaging. It's a very cool paint job. We got this two-tone green. This nice lighter green color with this darker green paint on top. Fully painted. Looks really nice. He's even got the windows painted in dark blue. You got the headlights painted in this kind of uh, mild yellow or white yellow. I'm not sure. You got the Mercedes sign molded on there. You can see some details painted on the grill underneath. It's like a charcoal kind of gunmetal color. You got the kill signs for all the Decepticons he's killed up there as well as over there. And it does appear to be the same print on both sides, which is kind of weird. But, uh, you know, so we got eight kills. Got some kind of numbering here. CR, I imagine the 17 is for 2017. 10 is probably the month. And CR, I have no idea. But if anyone knows this, leave it in the comment sections below. But you can see the venting here is painted, as well as vents over here. You get this detail right here painted. I bet that's for a sticker. I'm, I'm thinking that there was, or maybe that got whited out in the movie. I'm not sure. But originally it was a cross. Um, nice molding in the back. This is actually supposed to be down like that. So very cool. You can see the paint on the wheels. You got paint on the hubcaps as well as kind of like he's rolling through sand in a desert. So very, very cool. You got some more of that print right there. Very nice. Rolls like rolling things should. <laughs> and uh, he also comes with guns. So you get this gun. These are all the guns I believe he comes with with Age of Extinction. You get two of these. They're molded on opposite sides. See what I mean? So two revolvers, two pistols, two big cannons, five barrel cannons, Oh yeah, that's right. This is there. So and they also can fold in if you need to. And fold out. So you get that. And then you get the big gun. The big gun can pull out like that. I believe when it's in big mode it's supposed to be like that, or else you uh you can also pull this down. How does this work? Hold on. There's no elbow room here, so give me a minute. There we go. Pull that in and then fold. Once this is all pulled down, fold this over and snap it together. So you get that gun. It's got a little bit of hollowness on one side, but not too, too bad. But you got that. And then just to snap it out, you just, you just pop this back out. Slide that back in. And pull that back out. So he also has storage for the guns so you pull this out and you got all this storage in here and you see these tabs right here you want to fold these in and you keep this on the upper side so you want to tab that that slot into that tab right there uh, on this side i believe um maybe not like this so i get one there one here and then these go on the side 
we got the peg right here and the slot right there. And this is a little wonky to peg in, so just be careful you don't snap the peg off or anything. So you peg those in on the sides there and there. That's just kind of a weird holding. And then you can hold these. Use a slot right like that. And then you close it back up. Well, you want that to be attached better than that, but when you get it attached, close it back up, and it'll attach back and snap into place. So very cool. This you can, for storage anyway, you can tab it like that, or you know you can change, transform it, and tab it if you want, but. It's pretty cool. It's got like a angle so it can shoot upwards. So interesting there. Plus it's got tabs here, so I'm sure you can just I'm sure you can figure out something. You know. Um maybe those tabs are not gonna fit. But those tabs will fit for other things, so we'll show you that. But now that we've seen the vehicle transformation so first things first we want to remove this and see what I mean those tabs are a little bit wonky so you just tab it in like that but we're gonna remove all these for now just because it's gonna be better for if I show you later so yeah. and for now you can fold this out and put that over there all right moving the guns out of the way next things First things first, we want to separate the tabs there. See, there's a tab and then there's a slot. And you just move that down. You rotate this up and then over that tab. Kind of holds it in place, actually. And it's also a tab for it, but then you rotate this out like that. Same thing here. Separate the tab. Rotate this up over the tab. And then rotate this out just like that next thing you want to separate this and you just rock it back a little bit like that then you separate it in the middle and then you slide it out like so and these become his arms later so you got it like that next we're going to do the legs so you want to uh, start by lifting that and then separating the legs like this next things next you want to fold this down when you rotate this this wants to go like this you fold that one back then you fold that slot goes into that slot right there just like when you rotate this down to get it out of the way and like that slot that in then you go to the back here there's a little thumbnail part you can pick that up then you go to the side right here and you make sure to do this because if you don't do that it doesn't give you the knee bend with it up here like this it does not bend so make sure to flip that down like that and there's one leg second side is the same thing you want to flip this out on a double hinge flip this down flip this down and that slot goes into that port right oh wait you need this rotated down first and then it will slot in and then you go here pull out from there that becomes the feet and then take the side part right here and flip it down to create the knee and then just adjust his legs to your liking. And next thing we'll work on the upper arms. Let me adjust the lights real quick. Okay, so now you want to flip this up. You want to pull this back a little bit and more so when you're going out of it, but it does, there's a little latch there. So you lift that and then pull it, but here it's snapping into place, that's cool. And then you rotate that 180. You go under 
uh, go here, pull the hand out, fold this up, and there's a slot right there, a tab right there. Slot that in, rotate that to the front. Same thing on this side. Slap that up, rotate the shoulder 180, pull out the hand on this swivel, slot into the hole, and then rotate it 90. Next things next is you can get a little head reveal by just pulling this up. Well, usually it works. Anyways, oh, maybe you have to do this first. Oh, well, that works too. Yeah, that was the first thing I did. But I found it later on. I was finding that if you just pull this, it was working. But I guess not for camera. And then you fold this all the way to the back. And there, you got Hound in robot mode. So let me set him up nicely so we can get a nice good look at him. Uh, one thing that's funny is there's not really any good heel support. I mean, there is... I'll show you the articulation, and it does work, but as you can see, he's a little bit wonky to stand. But he does stand, so don't, don't get me wrong. Or don't get it twisted. Chrissy's not going to stand that for me for some reason. <laughs> um, I didn't have this much trouble on the first take. Anyways... Taking a quick look at him, his head sculpt. He's got a really nice head sculpt. You got black and silver painted in the beard, like you had it in the movie. You got the blue eyes taking off his helmet. You got this whited out cross, like they made us do in the last night. But you take his helmet off, which is really cool. You get some tech detailing, mechanical detailing under there. And you can also see the blue eyes. Nicely painted, looks really good. <laughs> Pop his helmet back on if you want. It's got nice two-tone green here. We got the bandolier kind of over there. You got bullets strapped to this side. Looking very cool. Whoops. Gunmetal paint here as well as there. It's kind of mesh looking detailing. All these bullets on his arms are painted as well as the side. These bullets on the side of his shoulders are painted in copper and dark green you got those headlights on the shoulders that he had last night painted on kind of like faux headlights and this is what he looks like from the back you got the wheels in there a little bit like bulkhead to be honest you can see all the holes and we'll show you what those are for you got more gunmetal paint here here on the thighs as well as the lower legs and then he's got that sandy paint for the wheel that comes out on his foot. But all in all, really nice. No, um, there's no stress marks in the plastic or anything. So good plastic they used. Articulation, he's got a swivel out to there, you know, fully 90. And then as well as it'll go all the way around. You gotta, you know, this was getting away a little bit, but you get a good amount. You get the upper bicep swivel, you get just a hair over 90. Oh no, you get a double double jointed elbow. Excuse me there. You get a wrist swivel as well as a hinge. That will go around, up and down, or side to side, I guess, and then swivel. You get a waist swivel, or he has waist swivel. And then it's a little bit wonky to work with the hips but you can kick it out to the side a little bit to get it to go out it will go up if you kick it out to the side but the pouches and stuff get in the way and then same with the side he can go all the way out but you guys just work with it he's got an upper thigh swivel as you can see right there and then a 90 oh well not quite 90 maybe 75 degree bend at the knee you got ankle tilts as well as a little bit front and back although if you detach this you can use you kind of have to detach all this but you can get a little bit of movement like that and you can kind of fake it like that but for the most part it's really just limited on the ankle tilt and swivel but he 
got some toe bend too. So good articulation. Now the guns. There's a few things you can do with them. You can load them up on him if you want. Or you can take this. And there's a few different things. You can flip it around like this. And then put the revolvers on the side. Kind of like this. So you can have a bunch of weapons like that. So you have that option. You can, of course, can stash them in there. You get this handle in there so you can use it as a shield. Just like that. So you can use that as well. You can also... Um, you can also attach things like... Uh, I believe these... Can attach in here and stuff like that. Like that. You can attach things like that for just storage. <clears throat> He's got, you know, posts down here as well. So you got storage down here or guns. So you have different options. And like I showed you before, you can also flip it like this upside down and use it as like a, like a wall. So very cool. Checking out some more of his details. He's got pouches molded on. Looking very nice. Got grenades molded. He's got bullets here up here on his bandolier. Got some more gunmetal paint there. You got this different color paint here. It's like a silver paint. Darker silver. See? So you got even different colors in there. And also, I forgot to show you his head articulation. So he has a ball joint head, and he can look down. And it can tilt back and forth, as well as you can swivel a little bit left to right. And he can look up a little bit, as you can see there. So I get a little head articulation. But all in all, a fun figure. That's what he looks like from the back, lower legs. And then... You can also stash all his weapons on him. Here's a few ideas. Put these like this. Oops. Like that. And then you get uh, these parts for the holsters. Kind of like his hip holsters. There's really no room in this table. There is, but not for my elbows. So you get those hips, and then you can, you know, slot some guns in his hands so he can hold all of his weapons. So, for posing and stuff, let's get him in a nice pose here. So, they did a great job on this figure. I recommend it for any the last night fans or any movie fans at all and uh yeah so leave a like if you liked the video subscribe for more toy reviews as always stay awesome stay subbed and stay tuned for the next video and peace that's a wrap guys i'm out tanks empty bro tanks empty bro <laughs>